Hey friends, welcome back to College Sports Corner. I'm Barry. Uh, we're coming off a great Saturday we had last weekend. We had some great games, had some upsets, uh, good football play. Probably, I would say, maybe the best Saturday of the season so far. Although, just about every Saturday has been really great. We've had some really good games. Uh, so, I would, yeah, I would say the last Saturday is probably the best Saturday of the season. We had a great lineup. Anyway, uh, today is our Week 10 preview. We're going to go over the games tonight, tomorrow night, and Saturday. Um, we're going to go over some news and some headlines. So, uh, hey, if you like the show, tell your friends, tell your family, tell your coworkers, hit that little subscribe button down there so you don't miss anything. And we'll get started with some headlines. The uh, big news is probably the uh, CFP rankings. First ones of the season came out Tuesday. Uh, a lot of controversy over them. Uh, in case you forgot or you didn't get to see it, uh, Georgia, Bama, Michigan State, and Oregon are the top four. And then followed by Ohio State, Cincinnati, Michigan, Oklahoma, Wake Forest, and Notre Dame. Um, I usually don't get on to the CFP right away. I let the season play out because we know Georgia and Alabama are more than likely going to meet up in the championship game. Uh, Michigan State, I think they still have to play Ohio State. So... I'll I'll save my rant about this for uh for the for the end of November, going into the championship weekend. I'll or after championship weekend, I'll 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 do my rant about the college playoff system. But um, if you look at if you look at the rankings, there's a lot of great teams in there. A lot of good undefeateds. A lot of good one loss. Maybe even some good two loss teams in there. So my only thing about this, yeah, expand this thing. We'll get some great games. We all know it. And um, why it hasn't expanded yet, I don't know. But anyway, that's for a few, few weeks from now, so we'll move on. Um, LSU quarterback Miles Brennan has enter, entered the transfer portal. Uh, if you remember, he got hurt last fall in the August in the fall camp. Uh, hurt his arm. Max Johnson took over. And Max Johnson's done a good job. He's got good numbers. They just LSU's just kind of fallen off this year. But uh, something interesting is. I've seen online a lot of Northwestern fans are saying, saying um, uh, Miles Brennan, our next quarterback. So I don't know if he's from there, up in the Chicago area or what. But for some reason, a lot of Northwestern fans are wanting the, him to be their quarterback. So we'll see what happens with Miles there. Uh, Wyoming wide receiver Aiden Eberhart out for the season with a knee. Uh, he's one of their top, top playmakers there at Wyoming. So they've unfortunately, they've lost him. So... Well wishes to him. Hope he gets better. Uh, USC wide receiver Drake London. He's out for the season with an ankle fracture. Minnesota co coach P.J. Fleck signs a contract extension through 2028. Uh, I've been impressed with what he's done up there with the Gophers. He's gone playing really good football. He's gone winning games. And uh, What was that last year? The year before? He had him undefeated. I don't know, 7-0 or 8-0 or something like that. But he's done a really good job up there. for real. So good for Minnesota. Uh, Florida quarterback Anthony Richardson has a concussion. He is unknown for Saturday against South Carolina. That remains to be seen whether or not he's going to play. Did you see this story? I just came across this story in the last day or so. UCLA defensive lineman Jay Toya caught on video cussing out male and female students, uh, saying if he sees anybody on campus with a USC shirt, he's gonna, I guess he's going to beat them down. Uh, threatening students, uh, I don't know. He just went off crazy, whatever it is. I don't know, roid rage, who knows. But uh, the school's aware of it. He was a, he was a, still at practice on yesterday on Wednesday. Um, school's finally saying something about it. I've seen a couple things online, official statements from UCLA. Uh, why you want to do this, I don't know. I mean, every day we see in the news and even in, out in the real world is why somebody says something the way they do, why they do stuff. I mean, who knows what people are thinking now, but not a good look for him. And evidently, he's already lost an NIL deal because of this. So it's going to be interesting to see what UCLA does to him. So like I said, why you want to do that kind of shit? I don't know. Whatever. Uh, Conference USA, they are falling apart and falling apart fast. They are trying to stay afloat. They've extended out invitations to Liberty, New Mexico State, Sam Houston, and Jacksonville State. They're scrambling to find members to stay an FBS conference. Um, like I said before, I don't know what's happened there. I don't know if it's uh, 
people that run the conference, if they suck or what, that, that conference is just falling apart, I mean, like that, really, really quick. So, see what happens there. All right, so we have some games this week, and most of them are Mac. It seems like every year the Mac, when the year gets later, they start playing week games. So, uh, Tuesday, you have Ball State 31, Akron 25. Ball State quarterback Drew Pitt threw for 185 yards and three touchdowns. Uh, Justin Hall, Johannes Tyler, Corson Stahl all had TD catches for Ball State. Uh, Akron quarterback Zap Gibson threw for 331 and two touchdowns. Michael Matheson caught eight catches for 154 yards and a touchdown. Miami of Ohio, 33. Ohio, 35. Ohio pulls one out. Uh, Red Hawks quarterback Brett Gobbert, 492 yards passing and five touchdown passes. Still wasn't enough to give them the win. Uh, Jake Sorensen had 14 catches for 283 yards, two touchdowns. Uh, Mac Hippenheimer, two touchdown catches. For Ohio, quarterback Curtis... Quarterback Curtis Rort, 288 yards, three touchdowns. He was sacked four times in that game. Uh, Isaiah Cox had six catches for 106 yards and two touchdowns. And DeMonte Tuggle rushed for two touchdowns for Ohio. Gives them their second or third win of the season. I forget which one it was, but congratulations to Ohio. Um, Eastern Michigan, 52, Toledo, 49. This game was 28-24 to at halftime. Uh, looks like defense was optional in this game. Uh, quarterback Ben Bryant, 354 yards, three touchdowns, sacked four times for Eastern Michigan. Uh, Harrison Baydown had 12 catches for 197 yards and two touchdowns. And Toledo quarterback De Dequan Finn had 461 yards, three touchdowns, and he was sacked five times. Uh, Brent, Brian Kobach rushed for two touchdowns. Matt Lund, Landers caught two touchdown passes. Jockey Stewart had a 97-yard kickoff return for a touchdown. Uh, last night, Wednesday, Kent State 52, Northern Illinois 47. Northern Illinois quarterback Rocky Lombardi, 33 for 57, 532 passing yards with three touchdowns. They still lost the game. Um... Trayvon Rudolph had 309 receiving yards and three touchdowns. And Joe Ducker rushed for 101 yards and two touchdowns. Kent State quarterback Dustin Crum was 20 for 30, 322 passing yards, two touchdowns, zero interceptions. And Marquise Cooper rushed for 173 yards and two touchdowns. And with those numbers Northern Illinois put up, it's kind of hard to believe they lost. Uh, I didn't see the game. Must have been a lot of mistakes or something on their part because there's some serious numbers there on the offense. Uh, Central Michigan, 42. Western Michigan, 30. Central Michigan quarterback Daniel Richardson was 10 for 18, 230 yards and one touchdown. Lou Nichols, the third, rushed for 163 yards and two touchdowns. Western Michigan quarterback Caleb Elby threw for 276 and a touchdown. Uh, Sean Taylor rushed for two touchdowns. And Corey Crooms had 118 receiving yards and a touchdown. So there you go for the Mac and all their games are playing this week. Uh, tonight, 7.30 Eastern, ESPN, Georgia State 4-4, four and four, uh, Louisiana Lafayette 7-1. and one. Georgia State's averaging 385 total yards a game, and Lafayette is averaging 428 total yards a game. Uh, Lafayette quarterback Levi Lewis has 1,655 passing yards, 11 touchdowns, and three interceptions. All right, that's the only game tonight. Um Tomorrow night, 7.30 Eastern on ESPN2, uh, Virginia Tech 4-4 four four at Boston College 4-4. Four four. Uh, Virginia, Virginia Tech is averaging 350 total yards a game, and Boston College is averaging 354 total yards a game. Uh, quarterback for Vodtech, Brandon Burmeister, 1,495 passing yards this year, 9 TDs and 3 interceptions. And Boston College quarterback Dennis Grozel, 1,191 passing yards, only six touchdowns and seven interceptions. Uh, we got a um, late one tomorrow night. Keep us up on Friday night. 10:30 uh, Eastern on FS1. Utah five and three at Stanford three and five. Utes are averaging 416 yards a game. Cardinals averaging 341 total yards a game. Uh, Utah quarterback Cameron Rising 1,318 passing yards, 12 touchdowns, and two interceptions this year. 
Running back Tavian Thomas has rushed for 565 yards and 10 touchdowns this year. Stanford quarterback Tanner McKee, 1,916 passing yards, 14 touchdowns, and five interceptions this year. All right, Saturday, uh, pregame. Game day is going to be at the Tulsa-Cincinnati game, and a lot of people are saying that the game day is going to blur out a lot of those, <laughs> a lot of those signs in the Cincinnati crowd because Cincinnati's pissed that they're not ranked in the top four in the playoff ratings. But uh, uh, So we'll see what happens. You never know. You might see every sign out there blurred. Who knows? Uh, SEC Nation is at the Auburn-Texas A&M game. Big Ten tailgate is at Minnesota-Illinois. And I've yet to see anything about Fox Big Noon kickoff. I don't know if they're going to be in the studio or if they're going to be on site somewhere. I still haven't seen that yet. All right, hey, uh, pretty good one here. It's always pretty good when the uh, when the uh, Army and Air Force and Navy and all them teams play. 11.30 Eastern on CBS. Army 4-3 and three at Air Force 6-2. and two. Army's averaging 400 total yards a game. Uh, Air Force is averaging 396 total yards a game. Um, each team averages just under 100 yards rushing every game, but over 300 yards passing. So uh, they do it all through the air. Uh, I knew Air Force did, but I thought Army was more of a running team. Maybe they've changed that in the last few years. But uh, Noon Eastern on ACC Network. Pittsburgh 6-2 and two at Duke 3-5. and five. Um, Pittsburgh's averaging 529 total yards a game, and Duke is averaging 450 total yards a game. Uh, Pittsburgh quarterback Kenny Pickett has passed for 2,755 passing yards, 26 touchdowns, and three interceptions. Still impressed with this guy, even though they've lost a couple games. Uh, Duke quarterback Gunnar Holmberg passed for 1,860 yards, six touchdowns, six interceptions. Uh, running back Monteo Durant, 973 rushing yards and nine touchdowns on the year. So, uh, Pittsburgh's a good team. It's a shame they lost those games because they could be they'd be on their way to an ACC title game. I guess they could still get there. I mean, what that was crazy is the ACC is this, this year and almost every year. Who knows? Uh, Noon Eastern on ABC, Wake Force, 8 0 at North Carolina, 4 and 4. Uh, Wake is averaging 496 total yards a game, and North Carolina is averaging 483 total yards a game. Uh, Wake Forest quarterback Sam Hartman has 2,469 passing yards, 23 touchdowns, and three interceptions on the year. And Tar Heels quarterback Sam Howell, 2,192 passing yards, 19 touchdowns, and seven interceptions on the year. And uh, Josh Downs for North Carolina has almost 1,000 receiving yards this year and eight touchdowns. This could be a pretty good game, even though North Carolina is not as good as we all thought they were going to be. Still looks like it could be a pretty good game. Uh, both quarterbacks are great quarterbacks. Uh, Noon Easter on FS1. Kansas State 5-3 and three at Kansas 1-7. I think they call it the Battle of the Old Sunshine State, Sunflower State, something like that. Uh, Wildcats are averaging 364 total yards, and Jayhawks are averaging 310 yards. Uh, both quarterbacks have passed for a little over 1,100 yards, but under eight touchdowns apiece. So... Uh, don't sweat it, Kansas fans. Basketball season starts next week. I mean, you know, if, if, even if you don't get another win, hey, you're about to kick some major ass in basketball probably, so don't worry. Uh, Noon Eastern on Fox, Ohio State 7-1 and Nebraska 3-6. and six. Uh, Ohio State's averaging 548 total yards a game. Nebraska 470 total yards a game. Uh, quarterback C.J. Stroud for Ohio State has passed for 2,270 yards, 23 touchdowns, three interceptions. Running back Travion Henderson has rushed for 845 yards and 12 touchdowns this year. Uh, Nebraska quarterback Adrian Martinez, 2,268 passing yards, 12 touchdowns, and seven interceptions. And you wonder where Nebraska's 3-6, and six, you wonder where they'd be right now if they wouldn't shoot themselves in the foot every week. Uh, they play great football. I mean, they take a lot of good teams to the edge, barely lose by a few points. Um, if they can eliminate the mistakes, I don't see why they couldn't be one, even two lost team this year. But, man, they just, they just self-inflicted wounds every week. And they never get it cleaned up. I don't understand that. You think after after all these mistakes they made, they get that shit cleaned up. But they don't. They keep making them. I don't, I don't know. 
Hard to figure them out. Uh, Noon Eastern, ESPN2, Illinois, 3 and 6. The Minnesota, 6 and 2. Uh, Lion I are averaging 325 total yards a game, and the Gophers are averaging 370 total yards a game. Uh, go for quarterback Tanner Morgan, 1,177 passing yards, uh, six TDs, and five interceptions. And they have lost, I want to say, three running backs this season out to injury. They just keep going through these running backs, starting with Muhammad back in that first game against Ohio State. Next man steps up, he gets hurt. Next man steps up, he gets hurt. So they, they're just wearing out their running backs this year. Uh, Noon Eastern ESPN, Missouri 4-4, four and four, and Georgia 8-0. Tigers averaging 454 total yards a game, and Bulldogs are averaging 421 total yards a game. Uh, Missouri quarterback Connor Brozick, 2,130 passing yards, 13 touchdowns, 8 interceptions this year. Uh, Tyler Brody has rushed for 997 yards and 11 touchdowns. Uh, Stetson Bennett for Georgia has passed for 1,157 yards, 12 touchdowns, and 4 interceptions. Noon Eastern on SEC Network, Liberty 7-2 at Ole Miss 6-2. Liberty's averaging 445 yards a game, and the Rebels are averaging 533 total yards a game. Uh, Liberty quarterback Malik Willis, 1,991 passing yards, 21 touchdowns, 6 interceptions. He's also rushed for 684 yards and 9 touchdowns. Keep that in mind. Ole Miss quarterback Matt Corrales passed for 2,203 passing yards, 15 touchdowns, two interceptions. He's also rushed for 519 yards and 10 touchdowns. So this game right here, you got two damn good quarterbacks going at it. Um, Malik Willis is good. Matt Corrales is good. They can both pass the ball. They can pass touchdowns. They can run. They can run for touchdowns, both of them. This should be a pretty damn good game here. Um I mean, I, I wouldn't even know who to pick in this game if I was a betting man. It'd be, to me, it'd be flip a coin. Uh, maybe give Ole Miss the, the um, edge because they're at home, but it is a noon kickoff, so I don't know. If you don't watch it, keep an eye on it because that looks like it's going to be a very good game. Uh, noon Eastern, ESPNU, SMU coming off that last few seconds loss to Houston last week. 7-1 and one at Memphis, 4-4. Four and four. Mustangs average 504 total yards a game. And Tigers average 463 total yards a game. Uh, quarterback Tanner Modesi, Modesi, I never know how to say this guy's name for SMU. Uh, 2,625 passing yards, 32 touchdowns, and eight interceptions on the year. Uh, Memphis quarterback Seth Hannigan, 2,153 passing yards, 16 touchdowns, and four interceptions. Noon Eastern on the CBS Sports Network. Um, La Tech 2-6 and six at UAB 5-3. and three. Uh, Bulldogs averaging 385 total yards a game. UAB is averaging 375 total yards a game. Uh, quarterback Austin Kendall for La Tech. 1,874 passing yards, 13 touchdowns, and 9 interceptions. Uh, Blazers quarterback Dylan Hopkins, 1,291 passing yards, 11 touchdowns, and 2 interceptions. Uh, Blazers have a better rushing game, but the uh, Bulldogs have a better passing game. So I don't know if that's going to even out or what that's going to do there. 12.30 Eastern on CSS. I guess that's Comcast Sports. Uh, Georgia Tech 3-5 and five at Miami 4-4. Four and four. Georgia Tech's averaging 419 total yards a game, and Miami's averaging 440 total yards a game. Um, Yellow Jacket quarterback Jeff Sims. 1,272 passing yards, 11 touchdowns, 6 interceptions. Uh, Miami quarterback Tyler Von Dyke, 1,488 passing yards, 12 touchdowns, 4 interceptions. Uh, this could be an interesting game, even though neither one of them is doing all that well. Uh, Miami's really come on in the last few weeks. And then Georgia Tech seems to kind of spoil people's plans and dreams every year. And they've done it a couple times this year, so... I mean, I know neither one is something to write home about, but it still could be an entertaining game. Uh, 2 p.m. Eastern on ESPN Plus. Appalachian State 6-2, and two, Arkansas State 1-7. and seven. Appalachian State is averaging 464 total yards a game, and Arkansas State is averaging 408 total yards a game. Uh, Appalachian State quarterback Chase Bryce, 2,098 passing yards, uh, 14 touchdowns, and 5 interceptions on the year. 
Um, quarterback James Blackman for Arkansas State, 1,334 passing yards, eight touchdowns, four interceptions. Um, Red Hawks only average 80 rushing yards a game, so they do it mostly through the air, and the running game's not all that. Either they don't go to the running game that often, or they're not that good in the running game. I haven't seen one of their games this year, so I can't give you the answer on that. Uh, let's see. 3 p.m. Eastern, Pac-12 Network, Colorado 3-5, and and Arizona 0-8. Oh uh, California's averaging 424 total yards a game. Arizona is averaging 355 total yards a game. Uh, Chase Garbers for California has passed for 1,979 passing yards, 14 touchdowns, 5 interceptions. Uh, Arizona, you can see why they're 0-8. They're averaging 129 rushing yards and averaging two only 226 passing yards a game. But, um, hey, still got four games, Arizona. You might be able to break this one. Hey, this could be the game. You don't know. 3 p.m. Eastern, ESPN Plus. Temple 3-5 and five at East Carolina 4-4. Four and four. Uh, Temple averages 321 total yards a game. And East Carolina averages 428 total yards a game. Uh, Temple averages 113 rushing yards and 209 passing yards. East Carolina averages 165 rushing yards and 263 passing yards. 3 p.m. Eastern and ESPN Plus. North Texas 2-6 and six at uh, Southern Miss 1-7. and seven. North Texas is averaging 407 total yards a game. Southern Miss is averaging 255 total yards a game and only 87 rushing yards per game. Quite a few teams that need to get that uh, rushing game. Well, you might as well forget about this year, but just get it going, work on it in the spring. Uh, 3 p.m. Eastern on uh, ESPN Plus. Uh, Louisiana Monroe, 4 and 4 at Texas State, 2 and 6. Uh, Louisiana Monroe is averaging 313 total yards a game, and Texas State is averaging 337 total yards a game. Uh, Texas State quarterback Brandy McBride, 1,507 passing yards, 12 touchdowns, but 10 interceptions. Not that bad of a quarterback. I guess they just don't have any other playmakers around them to help uh, add points to the scoreboard. 3.30 Eastern on FS1, Penn State 5-3, Maryland 5-3. But what has happened to Penn State? Remember, we were all everybody was all high on them at the beginning of the year. Now they lost one game, then they lost another, and now they've lost three. It's like they've... Started off really well, and then they just fell apart. I don't, I don't know what's going on up there. Uh, Penn State, 376 total yards a game. Maryland averaging 431 total yards a game. Penn State's Sean Clifford has 2,001 passing yards, 13 touchdowns, 6 interceptions. Um, Maryland quarterback, Tolua, like I said, I'll try to mention his, try his name anymore because I always butcher it. Uh, 2,384 passing yards, 17 touchdowns, 8 interceptions. Uh, rushing games are pretty even on these two teams. Uh, passing game is close. So it may come out to this game, whoever can run the ball better is going to win. But it all remains to be seen. 3.30 Eastern on Big Ten Network. Wisconsin 5-3 and three at Rutgers 4-4. Four and four. Uh, Wisconsin's averaging 353 total yards a game, and Rutgers 342 total yards a game. Uh, Wisconsin has the better rushing game, but the Rutgers has the better passing game. Uh, get this, Wisconsin defense in the last two games has had 12 sacks. 12 sacks in the last two games for the Badgers defense. So Defense is playing pretty good. Maybe the offense needs to catch up with it a little bit. 3.30 Eastern on ESPN. Oklahoma State 7-1, West Virginia 4-4. Four four. Oklahoma State's averaging 395 total yards a game, and West Virginia 404 total yards a game. Uh, Spencer Sanders for Oklahoma State, 1,341 passing yards, 11 touchdowns, 5 interceptions. Quarterback Jarrett Doge for West Virginia, 2,071 passing yards, 11 touchdowns, 7 interceptions. Uh, running back Letty Brown for the Mountaineers, 642 rushing yards and 11 touchdowns. 3.30 Eastern on ABC, Michigan State 8-0 at Purdue 5-3. Michigan State averaging 445 total yards a game. Purdue averaging 387 total yards a game. Uh, Peyton Thomas for Michigan State, 1,897 passing yards, 15 touchdowns, 6 interceptions. Uh, running back Kenneth Walker, boy, this guy, he's just impressive. 
He's got almost 2,000 rushing yards and 14 touchdowns this season. Um, man, he keeps that up. He might be in New York later this year. And, you know, there's just so many damn good quarterbacks. I mean, there's some that are passing, a couple of them maybe passing for 3,000 yards. I mean, it's going to be very hard to pick uh, pick the final few for that Heisman. And then you got Kenneth Walker running up. I mean, who knows? Uh, Purdue quarterback, Aiden O'Connell, 1,551 passing yards, nine touchdowns, eight interceptions. Um, Purdue's, they only average 80 yards rushing per game. Uh, I don't know. 330 Eastern, CBS, Auburn at Texas A&M. This ought to be pretty good. Auburn 6-2, A&M is 6-2. Auburn averaging 452 total yards a game. Uh, Aggies averaging 396 total yards a game. <clears throat> Auburn, Bo Nix, 1,764 passing yards, nine touchdowns, two interceptions. Uh, Tank Big, Bigsby, 667 rushing yards and seven touchdowns for Auburn. Uh, A&M quarterback, Zach Calzado, 1,364 passing yards, 12 TDs, seven interceptions. Uh, rushing yards between these two teams are pretty even. Uh, Auburn's got the better passing game. Um, both these quarterbacks have really come on. Because remember Bo Nix, he was benched in one, I, I think it was against Jacksonville or something. Um, he was benched, and then he came back in that LSU game and proved himself. And then uh, Zach Calzada comes in that Colorado game for A&M. Looks like he's sleepwalking. Looks like he's sleepwalking the next couple of games. And, but he's really come on. He's really, I guess he's gotten used to it now. And both these quarterbacks have... Uh, Change their seasons around, that's for sure. Uh 330 Eastern Fox. Baylor 7 and 1 at TCU 3 and 5. Uh quarterback for uh, Baylor, Jerry Bahannon, 1,745 passing yards, 12 touchdowns, three interceptions. Uh Baylor's averaging 466 total yards a game. TCU's averaging 437 total yards a game. Uh, TCU quarterback Max Dugan, 1,667 passing yards, 14 touchdowns, and four interceptions. And running back Abraham Smith, 898 rushing yards and 11 touchdowns. 330 Eastern on ESPN3, Idaho State 1-7 and seven at BYU 7-2. and two. Idaho State averages 306 total yards a game, and BYU averages 439 total yards a game. Uh, quarterback Hunter Hayes for Idaho State, 1,018 passing yards, six touchdowns, three interceptions. Um, Jaron Hall for BYU has 1,697 passing yards, 12 touchdowns, three interceptions. And their running back, Tyler Algaier, 1,122 rushing yards, 16 touchdowns. Uh, BYU is better in the passing game and the rushing game than Idaho State, but Idaho State is what, FCS? So, 3.30 Eastern on CBS Sports Network. Colorado State 3-5 and five at Wyoming 4-4. Four and four. Uh, Rams average 404 total yards, and the Cowboys average 332 total yards a game. Uh, both quarterbacks have uh, over 1,000 passing yards, but fewer than nine touchdowns apiece. 3.30 Eastern on ESPN2. Tulsa 3-5 and five at Cincinnati 8-0. Uh, Tulsa averages 437 yards a game, and Cincinnati 411 total yards a game. Tulsa quarterback Davis Brin, 2,079 passing yards, 11 TDs, and 11 interceptions to match that. Uh, Cincy quarterback Desmond Ritter, 1,847 passing yards, 18 touchdowns, 4 interceptions. Jerome Ford has rushed for almost 900 yards and 14 touchdowns for the Bearcats. 3.30 Eastern on, the, on uh, NBC, Navy 2-6 and six at Notre Dame 7-1. Navy averages 224 yards a game, and Notre Dame averages 100 and 390 total yards a game. I'm sorry. Uh, Navy only averages 59 passing yards. Um, Notre Dame averages 131 rushing yards, 258 passing yards. So... Um, maybe might give Notre Dame a good game. I don't know. Their numbers are close in some categories. 3.30 Eastern on FLOF. I guess it's a streaming service. I still haven't figured that one out yet. Rhode Island, 5-3 at UMass, 1-7. Um, quarterback 
Kaysom Hill for Rhode Island, 1,385 passing yards, nine touchdowns, four interceptions. UMass quarterback Brady Olson, 1,040 passing yards, seven touchdowns, seven interceptions to match that. Um, these two teams have even matched numbers in their rushing and passing game averages. But uh, I hate to say it, but I think Rhode Island's going to win. UMass just isn't, isn't any good this year. Oh. <laughs> Uh, 3.30 Eastern, ESPN Plus. South Alabama, 5-3 and three at Troy, 4-4. Four and four. Uh, South Alabama is averaging 396 total yards a game, and Troy is averaging 359 total yards a game. Uh, South Alabama quarterback Jake, Jake Bentley, 2,076 passing yards, 15 touchdowns, 5 interceptions. Uh, Troy quarterback Taylor Powell, 1,159 yards, 7 touchdowns, 5 interceptions. 3.30 Eastern on the stadium streaming. Middle Tennessee, 4-4. Four four. Western Kentucky, 4-4. Four four. Uh, Middle Tennessee is averaging 341 total yards a game. Western Kentucky averaging 524 total yards a game. Uh, Middle Tennessee, Chase Cunningham, 1,318 passing yards, 16 touchdowns, 3 interceptions. And this guy here, Western Kentucky quarterback Bailey Zape, Zap. It's like nobody gives this guy any love. Listen to this. 3,393 passing yards, 33 touchdowns, six interceptions. It's like nobody ever talks about the guy. I mean, I know they're four and four, and you know, Western Kentucky isn't a team that a lot of people talk about, but damn, look at that performance, man. Shit. Jared Stearns, 1,166 uh, receiving yards and 11 touchdowns for Western Kentucky. Uh, 330 Eastern on ESPN Plus. Rice 3 and 5 at Charlotte 4 and 4. Rice averages 321 total yards. Charlotte 387 total yards. Um, Rice only averages 142 rushing yards a game, which is crazy because they used to be a good running team years ago. I guess they kind of gotten away from that. Uh, and they average 179 passing yards a game. They got some work to do. Uh, Chase Reynolds for Charlotte 1,537 passing yards. 16 touchdowns, 5 interceptions. 4 p.m. Eastern on ACC Network. Uh, North Carolina State 6-2 at Florida State 3-5. Wolfpack averaged 417 total yards a game. Uh, Seminoles 392 total yards a game. Uh, quarterback Devin Larry from NC State. 2,161 passing yards, 21 touchdowns, and 2 interceptions. That's pretty impressive. Uh, Florida State averages 210 rushing yards and 182 passing yards per game. And any of you been watching football as long as I have, this just Florida State just isn't the Florida State we used to know. They could get it done through the air, through the on the ground. You know, quarterback play was always great. Defenses were spectacular. Um, <laughs> that, that was the Florida State of last year which, or yesteryear. I don't know what's going on with them now. I mean. Uh, 4 p.m. Eastern on the FLOF streaming. Utah State 6-2 at New Mexico State 1-7. Uh, Utah State averages 477 total yards a game. New Mexico State 383 total yards a game. Uh, Logan Bonner for Utah State is a pretty good quarterback. 2,127 passing yards, 17 touchdowns to 8 interceptions. Devin Tompkins has rushed for over 1,000 yards and or He's got over 1,000 receiving yards, I'm sorry, and six touchdowns. Uh, Mexico State averages just above 100 rushing yards and 276 passing yards per game. 4 p.m. Eastern on SEC Network, Mississippi State 5-3, and, and Arkansas 5-3. and three. Mississippi State's really come on. Um, they're starting to play better football every week. They look better every week. Um, it's like one of those teams that starts off slow, and as the season goes on, they start getting better and better. It's going to be interesting to see what their final record is. But they average 425 total yards a game, and Arkansas averages 465 total yards a game. Uh, Will Rogers for Mississippi State, 2,890 passing yards, 19 touchdowns, 7 interceptions. Uh, K.J. Jefferson for Arkansas, 1,600. And 57 passing yards, 15 touchdowns, three interceptions. Um, Mississippi State does it all through the air because they only average 54, 54 rushing yards a game. Um, 
I don't know if they just, because it's the Mike Leach air raid thing, or if they don't have a running back that's worth a damn, they don't ever give it to him. I don't know. Crazy. Uh, 4 p.m. Eastern, ESPNU, Tulane, 1-7, and seven, Central Florida, 5-3. and three. Remember when Tulane almost beat Oklahoma several weeks ago? Uh, Tulane's averaging 388 total yards a game. Central Florida's averaging 421 total yards a game. Uh, Michael Pratt for Tulane, 1,598 passing yards, 16 touchdowns, 5 interceptions this year. Uh, Central Florida's averaging 205 rushing yards and 216 passing yards per game. 6 p.m. Eastern, ESPN Plus. Coastal Carolina, 7-1 at Georgia Southern, 2-6. Uh, Coastal Carolina is averaging 521 total yards a game. Georgia Southern, 375 total yards a game. Uh, Grayson McCall, quarterback for Coastal Carolina, has 2,063 passing yards, 17 touchdowns, two interceptions. Not too bad. Sherman Jones, Sh Shamari Jones, I'm sorry, has rushed for almost 600 yards and eight touchdowns. Uh, Georgia Southern, 231 rushing yards a game and 146 passing yards per game. Uh, 6 p.m. Eastern, I guess it's Facebook, FCBK, or it could stand for something else. Use your imagination. Marshall, 5-3 and three at FAU, Florida Atlantic, 5-3. and three. Marshall is averaging 503 total yards a game. Florida Atlantic, 420 yards a game. Uh, Marshall quarterback Grant Wells, 2,510 passing yards, uh, 16 touchdowns to 10 interceptions. Rashawn Ali has rushed for a little over 800 yards and 15 touchdowns. Uh, FAU quarterback Nikori Nikosi Perry, 1,845 passing yards, 15 touchdowns, 4 interceptions. 7 p.m. Eastern, Pac-12 Network, Oregon State 5-3 at Colorado 2-6. Beavers average 437 total yards a game. Um, Buffaloes average 251 total yards a game. Oregon State quarterback Chance Nolan, 1,504 passing yards, 13 touchdowns, 7 interceptions. B.J. Baylor has rushed for almost 900 yards and 10 touchdowns for the Beavers. Uh, Buffaloes average 121 rushing yards and 130 passing yards a game. That could be a big reason why they're 2-6. and six. 7 p.m. Eastern, Big Ten Network, Iowa 6-2 at Northwestern 3-5. Uh, Iowa, they, man, remember they started off strong. Everybody was high on them, and now they've lost a couple games, and there's kind of an afterthought now. 292 total yards a game. Northwestern is averaging 339 total yards a game. Uh, Iowa averages just over 100 rushing yards a game and just under 200 yards passing a game. Northwestern averages 158 rushing yards a game and 181 uh, passing yards a game. 158 was the rushing yards. 7 p.m. Eastern, ESPN2. Uh, this, might be, this might be a pretty good game. Uh, Tennessee 4-4 four four at Kentucky 6-2. Uh, Tennessee's been playing really well. They're just coming up a little short in some of these games. But they're averaging 457 total yards a game, and Kentucky's averaging 365 total yards a game. Uh, Tennessee's Hendon Hooker, 1,578 passing yards, 17 touchdowns to two interceptions. Not too bad. Uh, Tyron Evans has six rushing touchdowns this year. Kentucky quarterback Will Levis, 1,476 passing yards, 14 touchdowns, nine interceptions. Chris Rodriguez has five rushing touchdowns. And Wayne Dale Robinson has five receiving touchdowns for Kentucky. Uh, Chris Rodriguez, running back for Kentucky, I... First of the year, I thought, man, this guy's really underrated. Nobody's paying attention to him. Um, I don't know. What's, he's only got five rushing touchdowns. Uh, I figured he'd have more than that by now. But started off kind of strong and kind of just kind of leveled out. Uh, 7 p.m. Eastern, ESPN, LSU 4-4, four and four, Alabama 7-1. and one. Remember when this game was always hyped every year and it was a big game? And... Um, like I've said before, my wife went to LSU, so I'm a I, I root for LSU, and I used to always look forward to this game. But yeah, this year, yeah, LSU 382 total yards a game. Uh, Alabama's averaging 494 total yards a game. Uh, Max Johnson, though, quarterback for LSU, he's had a pretty good year. Just over 2,000 passing yards, 20 touchdowns, five interceptions. 
Uh, they average 112 rushing yards and 270 passing yards per game. Uh, Bryce Young for Alabama, 2,453 passing yards, 26 touchdowns, three interceptions. Brian Robinson Jr. has rushed for over 700 yards and 11 touchdowns. And Jamison Williams, over 700 receiving yards and six touchdowns for Alabama. Uh, 7 p.m. Eastern on CBS Sports Network. Boise State 4-4 four four at Fresno State 7-2. Boise is averaging 371 total yards. Fresno is averaging 480 total yards a game. Uh, Boise quarterback Hank Bachmeier, Bachmeier, 2,204 passing yards this year, 15 touchdowns, 5 interceptions, not too bad. Uh, Jake Hayner for Fresno State, 2,888 passing yards, 22 touchdowns, 6 interceptions this year. Jalen Cooper has rushed for almost 700 or has, has almost 700 receiving yards and 10 touchdowns. Excuse me. Uh, Boise State only averages 96 rushing yards per game. So they pretty much do it all through the year. And you can tell by uh, Hank Bachmeyer's numbers. 7 p.m. Eastern on Stadium, UNLV 0 and 8 at New Mexico 3 and 5. But <laughs> both teams average just over 100 yards rushing. And under 195 yards passing. Uh, back to it. It's probably why UNLV is 0-8 and, and New Mexico is 3-5. and 5. 7 p.m. Eastern, ESPN 3, Old Dominion 2-6 and 6 at Florida International 1-7. and 7. Uh, Old Dominion averages 170 rushing yards, 184 passing yards, and 354 total yards per game. Uh, Florida International averages 398 total yards a game. Uh, the quarterback, Max Bartenschlager, 2,154 passing yards, 15 touchdowns, and six interceptions this year. Uh, 7.30 Eastern on FS1. Uh, this game here, Texas 4-4 four and four at Iowa State 5-3. and three. Um, Texas kind of, after the Arkansas loss, they kind of went up. Now they're kind of like going back down. Iowa State started off down here, and now they're kind of slowly, gradually going up. So this is kind of an interesting game. Uh, you know, probably worth watching. 447 total yards a game for Texas, 428 total yards for uh, Iowa State. Uh, Longhorn quarterback Casey Thompson, 1,554 passing yards, 17 touchdowns, 6 interceptions. Uh, Bijan Robinson has rushed. For almost a thousand yards and eleven touchdowns this year, uh, Cyclones Brock Purdy, one thousand eight hundred and thirty-three yards, twelve touchdowns, four interceptions. Uh, Brees Hall has almost a thousand rushing yards and twelve touchdowns. So the numbers there kind of uh, mirror each other on each on each team. So this could be a pretty entertaining game. Uh, both quarterbacks are good. Uh, both running backs are good. So this could be a pretty entertaining game. Uh, 7.30 Eastern on Fox. Indiana 2-6 and six at Michigan 7-1. All I can say is, uh, poor Indiana, because you know Michigan's going to be pissed as hell. Um, although they did give uh, Sparty a good game a couple weeks ago, so maybe they'll give Michigan a good game. Uh, Indiana's averaging 327 total yards. Michigan's averaging 457 total yards. Indiana averages 125 rushing yards a game and 202 passing yards a game. Michigan quarterback Cade Mac McNamara, 1,498 passing yards, seven touchdowns, two interceptions. And Blake Corum has rushed for almost 800 yards and 10 touchdowns for the Wolverines. All right, uh, 7.30 Eastern on ABC. Uh, <laughs> Oregon seven and one at Washington four and four. This this like the LSU Alabama game. This Oregon Washington game was always a good game, but just like the LSU Alabama game, not so much this year. Uh, Oregon's averaging four hundred forty three total yards a game. Washington's averaging three hundred fifty three total yards a game. Anthony Brown for Oregon has one thousand seven hundred ninety seven passing yards, ten touchdowns, three interceptions. And Travis Dye has rushed for over 600 yards and 10 touchdowns. Uh, Dylan Morris for Washington, 1,809 passing yards, 11 touchdowns, 8 interceptions. And Sean uh, McGrew has 6 rushing touchdowns for Washington. 730 Eastern SEC Network, 
Florida, four and four. South Carolina, four and four. Gators averaged 483 total yards a game. Uh, Gamecocks, 329 total yards a game. Uh, Florida averages 243 rushing yards and 241 passing yards per game. Um, South Carolina averages 120 rushing yards and 209 passing yards a game. Um, those numbers for Florida aren't bad. They're not great, but they're not bad. Um, it's kind of crazy that they're 4-4. Four and four. You figure they'd be a little bit better than that. But. So it's great at college football, ain't it? Uh, Seven thirty Eastern on ACC Network. Clemson five and three at Louisville four and four. Clemson is averaging three hundred twenty eight yards a game, and Louisville is averaging four hundred forty eight total yards a game. Um, Louisville has better rushing and passing averages per game than Clemson does right now. So um, Clemson could be five and four on Sunday. We'll see. Uh, Seven thirty Eastern ESPNU. Houston seven and one at South Florida two and six. Cougars average three hundred seventy nine total yards a game, and the Bulls average three hundred fifty six total yards a game. Uh, quarterback Clayton Tune for Houston one thousand eight hundred thirty nine passing yards, sixteen touchdowns, six interceptions. Uh, Alton McCarkle has nine rushing touchdowns this year. Um, South Florida running back Jam Jam. Mungum? I'm probably butchering his name anyway. 13 rushing touchdowns this year for him. All right. Uh, late night, college football owls. We got one tomorrow night, Friday, and we got some Saturday night. So here we go. 10 p.m. Eastern on FS2. Uh, this could be a pretty decent game. San Jose State 5 and 4 at Nevada 6 and 2. Uh, San Jose State's averaging 351 total yards a game. Nevada, 457 total yards a game. San Jose State is averaging 134 rushing yards and 217 passing yards a game. Uh, Carson Strong for Nevada, 2,883 passing yards, 24 touchdowns, 5 interceptions. Uh, could be another guy. Could be a finalist in New York if he keeps it up. We'll see. Uh, this one here I'm really interested in. This one I want to watch cause, just because I live here in Texas. Uh, UTSA 8-0 at UTEP 6-2. Uh, Roadrunners average 441 total yards a game. Miners average almost 400 total yards a game. Uh, quarterback Frank Harris for UTSA, 1,793 passing yards, 16 touchdowns, 3 interceptions. Uh, Sincere McCormick, uh, I, like that. I like that guy's name, Sincere. Sincere McCormick, almost 900 rushing yards and 9 touchdowns this year. Uh, Gavin Hardison, quarterback for UTEP, 1,876 passing yards, 10 touchdowns, 9 interceptions. Uh, Roadrunners have a slight edge in the rushing and the passing game over the minors, but still, I think it would probably be a pretty good game. Like I said, I'm living here in Texas. I'm definitely going to watch it. And, uh, you know, I believe those two teams and SMU and Houston have the best records in college football in the state of Texas right now. Over Texas or a and um, Baylor might be in there. Texas Tech, TCU. I mean, it's, it's crazy how things are going. Uh, 10.30 Eastern on ESPN. USC 4-4, four and four, Arizona State 5-3. and three. Uh, USC is averaging 454 total yards. Um, Arizona State is averaging 430 total yards. Keaton uh, Slovis has thrown 11 touchdown passes for USC. And Rashad White has rushed for nine touchdowns for Arizona State. Uh, I was one of the ones that thought Arizona State was going to win the Pac-12. Mathematically, it could maybe still happen. Uh, I don't look for it to, but anyway, they looked like they were at the beginning of this year. All right, and the last game, thank you, Hawaii. Hawaii pulls through for us again so we can stay up until the wee hours of the morning drinking beer watching football. Uh, San Diego State, 7-1. and one. Hawaii, 4-5. and five. San Diego State averages 304 total yards a game. Hawaii is averaging 416 total yards a game. San Diego State averages 200 rushing yards and 142 passing yards a game. Uh, Hawaii averages 158 rushing yards and 258 passing yards a game. And can we get the Congress involved, make some kind of law or get the president an executive order that 
Hawaii plays all their games at home and at night so we can all stay up late watching football, drinking beer. I mean, how great would that be? All right, so that's it for week 10. Um, college basketball starts next week. I'm doing the finishing touches on the college basketball overview. A lot of teams to go through. Um, so anyway, hey, we got one more day to the weekend. Finish this day up. We got tomorrow and the weekend is here. Thank God. Uh, football tonight, football tomorrow night, football Saturday. We'll be back uh, next week with the uh, week 10 review. So anyway, hey, if you like the show, tell your friends, tell your family, tell your coworkers, tell everybody. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Uh, you guys be safe. Be careful. Uh, enjoy the weekend, and we'll see you back next week.